In the previous tutorial video, we have seen how to set up PayPal Express Checkout. Setting up PayPal Express Checkout, as you have seen, is quite easy and it doesn't take a lot of time. However, there is a bit of a problem, well not a problem, a bit of a disadvantage using the PayPal Express Checkout. The disadvantage is that, that your users, your customers actually have to have a PayPal account. So they will actually log in into their PayPal account and then transfer the funds to your PayPal account. Now what happens if a customer does not actually have a PayPal account? Well in that case they can use some of the other available payment options within Magento Go. One of the most popular ones is actually called the Authorize.net. In this tutorial video we'll actually have a look how to set up a Authorize.net account and how to actually hook it up with your online store. So once again I have logged in into my dashboard, the dashboard of my store and I will go to systems and then I will just scroll down to configuration. Once again, this will bring me to a page where all my general configuration is available and I'll just scroll down to sales and then find actually payment methods. So we have seen this page before, this is where you would actually set up all of your payment methods. And as you remember before, we actually went and we actually set up this PayPal Express checkout. So let's move down and actually find authorize.net. Here it is, so I'll just click on it. And this will now provide you some information that you need to set up before you can actually start using authorize.net. Like in the previous tutorial, I would strongly suggest that you actually go through all the required fields here. So when you're actually setting up your authorize.net, you know what's important and what um, Magento Go needs in order to actually allow your customers to use authorize.net. Basically, authorize.net will allow your customers to use their credit card on your site so do, they do not have to actually go outside of your site and log in into some other accounts like uh, for example PayPal so basically they will just enter the required information within your online site and they can make the purchase right there so this is basically the gateway payment option alright so let's have a look first of all right at the top you'll find a link to actually sign up for authorize.net so we'll be clicking on this link a bit later to actually see how you would actually sign up for authorize.net but first of all let's have a look at the information provider here of course to enable these payment options you would have to go here and select yes and then you would actually have and then you can actually enable and then you can actually enable CIM now so if you do enable this by actually selecting yes, it's telling us that 3D secure check will be unavailable if this is enabled. So if you do want 3D secure check, you will leave this as no. Then you will come to the title. Here you can enter the title of this particular payment options. I will just leave it as credit card and then in the bracket I will have authorize.net and then the payment action. You can actually have authorize only or you can have authorize and capture. Now I would just suggest that you use authorize only. So what basically happens is that when the payment action is proceeded you will actually just get the um, the information that that transaction has been done rather than actually capturing it as well but you can select capture it as well now the next two fields so so api login id and the transaction key is something that you would actually be provided by authorize.net once you have signed up on their website so once again when you're actually signing up for authorize.net Keep in mind that this information is very important and this is something that you would need in order to set up Magento Go to use Authorize.net. The next one down is the cust email customer. So basically would you like to email your customer? You can just say yes for example or you can choose no if you do not want to enable this option. Next one down is actually merchant's email so you would enter here the email address and then you will come to the credit card type. Now you can select American Express, Visa, Mastercard and Discover or you can just click on other and then specify other sort of credit cards once again you can select everything or you can select everything except for other sorry you can select everything except for other or maybe visa and discovery so i would suggest you select those four as they are widely used in the world today and then you can actually move down and you will come to credit card verification so basically would you like before you proceed with the payment would you like this credit card to be verified I would strongly suggest that you put yes here just to just to be sure that you are not dealing with some faulty credit cards and everything else now the next one so which countries are you actually 
accepting the payment from so where is where are your actual customers placed in now you can actually select by default it's actually select, uh, selected as to allow all countries or you can just go specific countries and then you will select I don't know maybe Angola and everything else Australia and to select multiple you just press shift on your keyboard and hold it and then select and if you would like to select individual so once we have selected this if you go down the list and you actually press control button on your keyboard and you click on that country you would select that individual country so you can either like I said select individual individual countries like this or because this is actually worldwide you can just put all allowed countries and that actually means that any customers from anywhere in the world that's actually uh, been approved by authorized.net so the countries that have been approved by authorized.net will be selected so your customers are basically worldwide moving down the list you will find the transaction ID prefix so every transaction will have some sort of a uh, ID so basically what this means is that you will actually put a prefix on your transactional ID so if you actually so this is basically just to in a way show you that you receive this payment from authorized.net basically that the user has used authorized.net to pay for your product so basically you can just put maybe one one and you know that any transaction ID that has one one in front of it is actually being made through the authorized.net alright moving down you will actually find enable 3d secure card validation on the front end now I would leave this as no, you can either go no or you can actually change it to yes. This is totally optional to you whether or not you would like a bit more security when it comes to credit card validation. So because I have said here that I will actually like this credit card to be verified, I will actually leave this as no. And then uh, you can actually come to a field where you can actually specify the minimum total order and the maximum total order. Now. This is actually because um, authorized.net, unlike PayPal, Express Checkout is not free. You will be actually charged on a monthly basis and you will be charged for each transaction you made. Now, if you if your customer buys something that's actually, you know, uh, half a dollar, so 50 cents, you'll be charged about 10 cents for each one of these transactions. So basically, instead of earning for uh, 50 cents for that particular product you actually get only 40 so what this actually will do is actually you will set the minimum total trans uh, transaction order so basically you can say if the customer buys over 20 dollars then they like can then uh, he or she can use authorized.net otherwise they would have to actually select one of the other payment payment options so here you would actually put the minimum order total and the maximum so this is totally up to you but i would strongly suggest if you are using authorized.net that you actually do set up at least the the minimum um, order total because like i said if you're if you're selling for example pencils and your pencil is maybe 50 cents and each transaction is actually going to cost you 10 cents instead of actually getting 50 cents you'll be getting only 40 cents so you're losing 10 cents which in this case is quite quite a lot all right moving down you'll find whether or not this is in a test mode so are you still running a test mode on your site and on your authorized.net so you can either select yes or no this is totally up to you and it does not really make any difference so maybe you can go with yes for now and then the last option is actually sort order so if you want to select the sort order you will actually type it in here all right so now that we actually know what kind of information we need and what uh, is required for us to actually set a Magento authorize on Magento Go. We can actually go and click on this link here to sign up for authorize.net. So, once again, those two fields here are the most important ones. So, we need to provide information here so that um, our online store we actually will actually be linked with authorize.net account that we are just about to create. So, let's go ahead and click on sign up for authorize.net. This will now open a new page or a new tab like like in my case, which will actually show you the authorized.net sign up page. Alright, so this is authorized.net uh, sign up page. Now you'll find lots of information here and I would strongly suggest that you actually go through all of this because like I've said, authorized.net will provide you with uh, transactional payment 
services but they will also also charge you for it so i think it's a good idea to actually know what you're getting for your money so first of all there's the apply now button but before you actually hit on it and actually start applying for your authorized.net account once again i would strongly suggest that you go through all of this information so for example you can see here that actually they provide a live help you can call this number it's toll free so if you have problems you can do that and also you can see that um, and here you can see that actually authorized.net is powering payments for their partners which is actually Magento e-commerce platform so that's pretty good here you'll find some information on how many people are actually using it when it was established and what is its actual transactional volume moving down the page you'll find some payment gateways features so you can accept a many different payment methods it's very safe it's industry leading uh, since 1996 so pretty much when it was actually established you will get a free um, award-winning customer support you will actually get a free fraud prevention tools and some free website seals to actually boost shoppers confidence and sales so this the seals will actually be displayed somewhere on your online store to actually make sure and to actually give some more protection to the customers as well so they can actually see how this guy is actually using the authors.net so payments will be made legit and would be actually good moving down the list you actually come to the prices all right so this is the as you can see this is the prices for us and canada so basically you're purchasing a payment gateway and there's a setup fee of $99, there's a monthly fee of $17.95 and there's the transaction fee of $0.10 cents, and also the batch fee. So this is something that I was talking to you about. So this is something that I was actually mentioning before. So for example, if you're selling some goods, small goods, so for example a pencil which is probably around $0.50 cents, for example and uh, you get 50 cents but then you're gonna get charged a transaction fee of 10 cents so you're basically just getting 40 cents instead of 50 cents for your pencil so it's a good idea to actually in configuration here make sure that your minimum total or the total is some substantial value that will actually work out for you the best and of course when it comes to maximum you can also do that so let's go back to authorize.net now now moving down the page you also find some optional value so this is almost like an add-on to your original uh, account so you can actually see here that you can select and buy uh, the advanced fraud detection suit so it's about just a bit less than ten dollars per month you can actually get some automated recurring billing which is ten dollars a month customer information manager which is actually twenty dollars a month and you can actually sign up for eCheck.net as well but you can you have to actually contact the um, representative of authorized.net to actually discuss the actual price of this so all these prices are given in months so basically for the basic payment gateway you have to pay the the actual a set of fee which is 99 dollars then you have to pay a monthly gateway fee so this is done monthly so every month you would have to pay uh, just a bit less than 18 us dollars and the transaction fee and the batch fee are there as well all right moving down you'll actually find some more information about the optional merchant account so set of fee is zero dollars monthly gateway fee is just um, just below ten dollars there is a transaction fee of zero point $25 so 25 cents there's Vista Visa MasterCard qualified discount rate which is 2.19% and monthly processing minimum fee is actually $25 so basically like I've said before depending on what your aim is when you're actually creating this online store and what you will be selling and the money you'll be making you probably you know the more of this you sign up for the better it is for you and for your customers but then again if this is costing you too much you'll probably just avoid all of this and maybe just go and sign the, pa the actual payment gateway only all right so once you have read through all this you're ready to start signing up for your authorized.net so you can click on apply now button here and this will now take you through some steps required for you actually to set up your authorized.net first of all you have to go into create login ID here the first step is actually to enter your email address and your password after that it will ask it will actually ask you for some uh, different options you would like to set up with your account it will ask you for your account so your bank details and everything else 
where your money will be received and where they actually can charge you from that monthly fee and the setup fee so basically authorite.net is very good as it actually allows your customers to pay right on your online site rather than actually you know leaving your site going to Google or to PayPal logging into their account and then coming back and actually after purchasing after making the payment coming back to your site and everything else so this will give your customers an easy way to pay for their products that they wish to buy but it actually comes with a price so it's basically up to you whether you would like to stick with some free services like uh, PayPal Express checkout or if you have a bigger online business you will probably have to set up something like authors.net as this is this is the easiest and the fastest way for your customers and to pay for their products that for the products they purchase and so once again you will get all the required information here once you actually set up once you create the login and you set up your authorized.net account so once you have done with that you will actually receive an email as well welcoming you to the authorized.net and you will have to verify that you are using the email that you have provided here so something similar to PayPal Express checkout where we actually signed up and then we had to verify that this is actually the email we're using so once you're done with that and you get all the information you will come back here you would go up and here you would actually enter the required information once you're done with that remember that you have to enable authorize.net now doing all this without actually clicking on yes here is pretty useless so make sure you click on yes and once you have clicked on yes you can actually click on save config so this is also very important if you never get away from this page all the information all the details here will be lost so make sure that you actually hit on save config so once you have actually signed up for authorize.net you have created an account you have entered all the information required in here you have enabled authorize.net you can click on save config and this will now actually save your configuration and your customers will will actually be able to pay on your site using the authorize.net so basically this is how you would go about setting up authorize.net for your online business 